In this video, we'll look at the variables. We'll look at what they are and how we can start to play with them. So let's take this Jupyter notebook and let's imagine we want to save something in the memory of the computer. And I'll show you an example of why you want, probably always you'll want to do something like that. So let's say you have a dog and you want to calculate the age of this dog. So people say, I know some disagree, but it doesn't matter here that you can calculate the age of your dog by multiplying his age by seven, right? So you say, okay, my dog is 10 years old. So I can multiply his age by seven. So it means that he's 70 years old in, in, in like human age. Now, so if I want to say that in a sentence, I can say print, and we can do like we did at the beginning, remember with hello world? So you can do single quotation mark or double quotation mark, it's the same. And you can say my dog uh, real age is 70. And you can write that. Now if you got different dogs or you want to have a friend that can do the same, you'll need to change the age here. And to do this, you'll need to keep changing this line. It says that we create something like this. I write, I write just H and I say H equal 70, right? So with equal in Python, it means put this value inside this variable, right? So here, here age is a variable. You see that there is no quotation mark. It's just without quotation mark, I'm writing something. If you see something without quotation mark like this and no bracket, like when we were using type or print, then it's a variable. And here in Jupyter Notebook, it will be in white when compared to this one with bracket will be in, in green. So you can easily see the difference. Okay, so we're saying, okay, put 70 in H, which means put this number somewhere in the memory. And if I need to call it back, I'll just say H, right? So I do that, I run that and nothing happened because the only thing I did is put this value in H. But now I can print H. Without, without bracket, right? Because if I without quotation mark, if I do it with quotation mark, then then I will just print H, right? I'm printing the text H, and we'll look at that in the in the next video when we look at the actual strings. But here, if we want to kind of use this, we need to be able to just call the variable, and for that we don't put the quotation mark, and we say print H seventy. Now, if I change the value of H, I can delete this one double D remember and I say now my dog is 200 years old I didn't change anything on the second second cell but automatically now they know that age is 200 like the value in age is 200 so if I just change age and I run this cell it's important to run this cell right because if I don't run this cell say my age is 1 and I don't run it and then I run this it's still 200 but if I run it now it's 1 Right, so I run the first one, now age is one, then I run print, and it's one. So I could retake the sentence we had at the beginning and we could do this, look. I say, okay, my dog real age is, I keep a space and then I can add plus. There's different way of doing this. Some people don't like using plus. I use this because it's easy and I never had any kind of issue. So look at this, it says, okay, this is a text you want to have and you will add age after that. And then I can add plus and I add some more text, one more space, and I say years old, All right? So what will it do? It will print text, then it would add this age and then it will do years old. So if I do it exactly like this and we'll look at that again in the next video, you'll have an issue because you're doing a text plus a number plus a text. And what the exception here is explaining you is exactly that. It's telling you type error can only concatenate string, not int, with string, right? So it's telling you, hey, you're trying to sum stuff that cannot be summed, right? You're trying to add banana to, to apple and you cannot do that. So something we can do is just say, okay, age is a text. And again, we'll look at that. Remember, if there is quotation mark, then it's a text. If there's no quotation mark, then it might be a number, it might be something else, it might be a variable. So we'll say, okay, let's put the, since we want to speak, use text, let's say that age is a number in text. And again, we'll look at that more 
later on you'll see when we look at the text etc but here look at that age is one print age is still one that's funny right it's exactly the same output and again i ran i run both look one print age still one and it could be a different number right? i could say 21 21 it showed it exactly when it was a number but now when i will run that then it works because this is a text and i'm concatenating text i'm putting text after text so i say my real dog age is my dog real age is 21 that's right years old so now you could have a lot of variables like that. You could have the name of your dog. You could have the location where he is right now. You could have the, you know, the color of his fur. All those different variables that could be super relevant. So let's let's do an example. Uh, dog name. So let's look at this. It's pretty important. So you got two different ways to declare. We say the variable. One would be to say like this: dog name and we go noi and the other way so it works now dog name is noi dog name it's noi so look at this i said dog a name with a capital n so this is important because the variables in most computer language if not all of them cares about capital letters it's not the same if I use a capital letter or if I don't. I'll show you that right now. If I call dog name, it's a common mistake. I call name, I forgot I had a capital N. It doesn't work. And what do you say? Say, well, name, dog name is not defined. It doesn't exist. You're calling something that you never created. And you'll be, oh, what, why, etc. It happens a lot. People come and say, hey, I try to do this or that. It doesn't work. And you look at if there was a capital letter and it was an issue. So why? Well, because there is a capital letter. Now, why did I add a capital letter? Well, it's a way to write names when they are long and with different words. If I just write dog name like this, it's hard to read. But if I put a capital letter, and we can do it like this, my little dog name. It's easier to read, my little dog name. If I don't have any capital letter, it becomes a nightmare and it would be a really bad coder, right? So you don't want to do that. You got an alternative if you don't like this, what, which we call camel case. What you can do is my underscore little uh, dog and name. So you can do that. You can say, okay, and it's uh, a Bobby. And then I just call this and I see Bobby. So how did I just do what I did? and you know i write just my and then it completes everything well i just press tab when i press tab it just checks at the variable i have and it tries to fill out what uh, what we have and i already declare these variables so by just pressing tab it would cool so that's super important you need to declare your variable variable in a way that is easy for people to review one of the big difference between a good coder and a bad coder is Reviewing the code of a good coder is doable and ideally easy. So you need to think at the people that will look at your code, which most probably will be you in six months. When you look back at a code from six months ago, you forgot about it, most of it, and you'll need a lot of things like comment and good name or variable like this to be able to understand it. We'll look at the comment in the next video. But um, I think we're more or less done. So here really is important thing is to understand that a variable is somewhere where you can put information so that you can get it back later. And you can keep changing it and we don't have to change everything, right? Because if now my dog is uh, 22, I just have to run that it's 22. I don't need to print the age, but I can. Now it says 22. And instead of changing everything here, I got the age edited, right? And I could do the same for anything else. I could calculate the how to transform, I don't know, kilometers into miles and like multiply them by 1.6. It's more or less the, the, the ratio. And and yeah, and then I would just change the number all the time. I could do it to calculate different things, etc. So this was for how to assign to a variable. You just need to put equal and then it works. Let's look at very quick thing around number in the next video, then we'll continue with string, then we'll look at the common. See you in the next video.